Hi guys, Reno here, and welcome to my dojo. Today I'll be telling you the story about how the crocodile got its skin, and I've got a very special guest with me, my special girl, Marianne, who will illustrate the story as I tell it. God, I love this woman. So not many people know that the crocodile started off with a very beautiful golden brown skin, much like that song that came out in the late 70s. Golden brown, texture like sun, lay me down. And it was this way because it spent most of its time in the muddy waters and would only come at that night. You got the gold color, eh, Marianne? Don't use the yellow, it's got to be the gold one. All the animals caught on to the fact that it had such a beautiful skin. And so did the crocodile. So eventually he started coming out in the afternoons to bask in the midday sun and chat to the other animals. It was a great time had by all. Swimming in the river, laughter, the odd kill. But then something terrible happened. Something that would change the crocodile's destiny forever. He became arrogant, big-headed, started being rude to all the other animals and bossing them around. Hey elephant, get the hell out of my son, man. Lion, give your hair to him, man. You look a baby mess, like a hobo walking the streets of San Francisco. Lino, you got two horns. What's up with that? Well, that upset the other animals. They thought, why the hell are we spending time with this nasty guy? His skin's nice, but it's not that nice. And they no longer came to visit him. But each day that the crocodile exposed his skin to the hot African sun, it would get uglier, thicker, bumpier, and transformed into how we know the crocodile as today. Much like this sculpture that the tourist gave me. Why a German tourist would give me a curio for my own country, I've got no idea. The crocodile never recovered from this blow to the ego, and still today you can only see him with his eyes and nostrils peeking out of the surface of the water. So, what's the moral of the story, guys? Don't be arrogant, keep your ego in check, and don't believe your own hype. Let's have a look at that drawing, Mania. My word. You truly are a talented woman, Marianne. Guys, always great to have you around. Don't forget to like it, subscribe it. I'm Reno, and I'm out of here. And the elephant is spot on. Maybe a little monkey in a tree. Eh? Create some ambience. Ambience is very important. <laughs>